hi everyone myself pravin kumar from exo college of physiotherapy today i am going to take about patellar tendon bearing prosthesis let's we see the what is prosthetics prosthesis are used to replace a missing limb and to restore or provide function the replacement must be as faithful as possible to missing organ in term of function and cosmosis the word missing limb which denotes amputation or congenital missing of limb what is amputation let's we see about amputation amputation of a limb is one of the oldest surgical procedure practiced even in prehistoric times a amputation is a one of the meanest and one of the greatest operation in the surgery mean when restored to where better may be done great as the only step to give comfort and prolonged life so after this procedure we have the main role to restoration of the lost function of the limb has been the prime endeavor behind the design and fitting of prosthesis so prosthesis which means the patient restoration of the lost function of the limb so it uh, the prosthesis is helpful in financial or uh, psychological support so let's we see the conventional below knee prosthesis for transtibial amputation in this we have two so- sockets one is patellar tendon bearing socket and total surface bearing socket in this we are going to see only about patellar tendon bearing socket the patellar tendon bearing socket is a standard transtibial socket it is a laminated plastic socket the body weight has to be taken on the only in patellar tendon an area which can stand pressure a yeah, part of a weight is borne over a condylar flare and the distal end of the residual limb stabilization is provided by molding the socket over the relatively flat flares of the proximal tibia and the shaft of the fibula if it is long enough next we are going to see the parts of a socket first one is supracondylar cuff and socket insert and patellar tendon bearing area and body of the socket and foot angle assembly and interface liner in this the liners and supracondylar cuff are most important first we see the liners it is a most ptb prosthesis are constructed with the soft liner made up of polythene form or silicon gel that act as interface between the residual limb and the hard socket it is the liner observe some of the compressive and shear force generating during ampulation thus cushioning and protecting the stump however it may wear out over time and will have to be replaced now we see supracondylar cuff the supracondylar cuff is a leather fastening system that holds the prosthesis in position attaching itself by buckles to the distal thigh it is attached to the proximal part of the socket in the postero medial and postero lateral aspect let's see its uses or advantages first relatively it is cheap and allows normal knee movement and durable and easily replaceable and provides axillary suspension and the disadvantages are no medial lateral knee stability and may interfere with circulation and pinch the distal thigh in obese clients thank you